how to stop hip sway in golf swing do you feel unbalanced in your golf swing feel like you're moving too far left too far right just can't seem to maintain any sort of consistency in your swing hi i'm troy from hitting solid.com here and in this next video i'm going to show you how to stop getting a hip sway in the golf swing with some really simple exercises you can get done straight away i'll see you soon Okay, let's talk about how to stop hip sway in the golf swing. I'm going to show you in this video here what the hip sway looks like, why we should get rid of it, and right towards the end, make sure you stick around for that, I'm going to show you a couple of really simple drills or exercises you can do at home to help you get rid of the hip sway. So first of all, what is the hip sway? Well, it's also called sliding in the golf swing, has, usually has those sort of couple of names, and simply what it means is, if I'm set up to a ball here, if I make a swing, and my hips move too far this way laterally away from the target this way or too far this way towards the target laterally this way so that's usually what someone's talking about hip swaying you're swaying too much for your hips you're moving them too far to the left and to the right at and away from the target and that causes a lot of inconsistencies with your goal swing and one of those might be if I'm swaying too much this way, it gets you right off balance. And if you sway too much away from the target in your backswing, like this, it makes it a lot more challenging to then get your, your body weight over to your lead side, or at least your pressure into your lead side at the start of the downswing. Conversely, with your downswing, if you sway too much with your hips this way, you get a lot of this what's called secondary axis tilt and what that means is if my hips bump too much this way you'll see my upper body naturally just tilts back I get down very low here then I have to sort of flip with my hands to save the golf shot so what I'd like to see you do is make more of a, a centered golf swing so that your hips aren't swaying too far to the right and too far to the left so what that would look like I did a video recently on the back leg. I'll put a link up above. Make sure you check that out. And this, that video ties in with this beautifully. When I'm set up to a ball here, when I make a back swing, what I want to see is with this back leg, I want to see that back leg not get way too far over my lead angle and pushing this way. I like to see that pressure in that that rear sort of instep of that right foot and if I do that I've got it in this angle position straight back into my body like this and this is a really good position you want to be in in your back swing you'll also notice that knee if I make a swing that knee of my rear foot that will be pointing somewhere in this direction here roughly there roughly out this way I don't want that knee to be pointing way at this this area here that means I've swayed too much I've slid too far off the golf ball we want to make a centered swing and when we do that we will stop swaying or sliding in that sort of position there I saw a video recently of Roy McElroy hitting a driver and the guy that produced the video had a, an arrow right up above right beside his rear leg and it was sort of pointing up like this and when he made his back swing he never broke the line of that where that arrow was and it was a great example of making a centered golf swing which is really hard to pick up when you see the pros at full speed it looks like they might be doing a lot of this shifting right and left but they're not they're actually staying really centered so that's what we want to do on the back swing now on the down swing same thing as we come down we just want to be doing a little rotation and getting into the ball like that this lead leg we don't want to be going over in this direction here we want to be staying stacked on top of it the foot the hips everything aligned with the shoulder at impact and that's often called neutral joint alignment and that'll look something like this as we swing to the top as we go to impact you'll see here I should be able to draw a relatively straight line right above that lead leg right through the lead shoulder and that will keep everything nice and neutral in a great impact position 
and stop you from sliding. So those are a couple of keys. They're the ideal spots I'd like to see you get in to stop your sway. Now in the next part of the video, I'm going to show you a couple of really simple exercises you can practice at home to really cement this into your golf game. I'll see you soon. Okay, here's a couple of really simple drills or exercises you can practice. You can even actually do these at the driving range and hit balls with, but start off practicing at home. This can really help get rid of the sway in the golf swing and help you become a lot more consistent with your ball striking. So first one I'm going to do is just grab an extra ball. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it right on the, the instep, sort of that big toe area of my right foot. And when I do that, and put it somewhere in that position there, it's right underneath that foot there. And what that allows me to do, when I make a swing, feel like you're putting pressure into that area there, and that will stop you from falling over this way, and help you make a much better golf swing. If you don't have a golf ball, Find another object of some sort, anything to stop that right foot from rolling and getting too much weight onto this right side. You want it just enough that you can feel it. So you can make that nice centered turn. You can feel pressure into that right leg, but we're not falling too far over to the right. That's a great way to make a really solid backswing. So the next thing we can do now this works for driver as well. I'll, I'll pick up a driver soon and show you with that. I've just got my son's little uh, little small chair at the moment, but you can do this with a, a bucket or any other object that's sort of about, I don't know, about a foot and a half tall thereabouts. And what we're going to do, I'm going to set this up, put that ball a bit far forward. We want an object right on our left ankle. And the reason for this is if you're someone that sways, any sort of sway here, you're gonna hit the top of this object here, in my case here, this chair. So if I set it up against my foot, what I wanna be able to do is swing, come into impact, and not have the upper part of my, this leg here be banging into that chair. This is what we don't wanna do this position here. We want to be able to make a nice swing. Into impact like that. And just try to draw a straight line up that lead side. So having some sort of object, you could use an alignment stick or a, even a bigger chair will do the job to practice. But you want something as a reference point to really feel like This lead knee is not really kicking out like this and really getting you off balance, off balance, which is really bad for, can really cause a lot of injuries and everything as well. So using a small chair, getting that ball under that right foot, you can practice these together or independently. And this will really help you to get rid of that sway in the golf swing. Now with a driver, exactly the same principle. If I'm set up here, the driver, I find the swaying gets even worse with a lot of golfers. Same thing. Try and stay centered with the driver, exactly the same. Just come back a little bit further. And making sure I'm not hitting that chair with that upper part of the leg there. So let's do one here. Just sort of nicked it just slightly there, but that's not too bad. We just don't want to do anything like really leaning back in that really awkward position there. Give those a try. If you have any questions about those, please let me know. But these will really help you get rid of that sway or get rid of that slide in your golf swing super quick. There you have it. Now you know how to stop hip sway in golf swing. Now very important before you go right above here, I'll have a couple of additional videos that will talk about how to get into a great backswing move, in particular that right leg in the backswing, and also how to move that left shoulder that plays a really key part in getting rid of that sway in the golf swing. Make sure you check those out right above. Now very quickly right below this video I have a link to my free 
three secret moves video make sure you click on the link get a hold of that if you have any other further questions or comments about this video or another video or any general questions about the golf swing please let me know thanks so much for watching i'll see you next time